In this demonstration, I will be showing you how to run a simple Hello World program on Microplace processor using Xilinx Pitis IDE. This is the hardware which I am going to use for this demonstration. Uh, this is a Xilinx evaluation board AC701 which contains an RTX 7 FPGA. And uh, the software part I will be using Vivado and with this uh, version used is 2020.1. This is the total design flow which we are going to follow in this demonstration. In the first step, we will be designing the hardware configuration using Vivado. Then we will be synthesizing and generating the bitstream file which is to be downloaded onto the FPGA in the Vivado itself. Once the bitstream is generated, we will be exporting this hardware to the Vitis. Then generate the platform project in Vitis and then create the application project and then you can uh, download the application program onto the FPGA and see the output. This is the plan of execution. To start with, we need to create a new project in Vivado. This is the starting screen of Vivado. To create a new project, click on this create project link. Then click next. Then you need to give a name for your project. Then click next. You are creating an RTL project, so just click next. You can just skip this. And in the part selection, you can select the board. Since I am using the AC701 evaluation board, I can have to select that uh, evaluation board. And then click next. And just click finish. Now the project is being created. We will be creating our project using the Vivado IP integrator where you can design the system using a block level design. So just click on the create block design and just click OK. Now the IP integrator window is open. You can just maximize it. Now here we are going to add all the IPs which are required in this design. We will start with the microblaze processor. To add a new uh, IP, just click on the plus button and just type the IP which you require. So here you have the microblaze IP, just double click on that. Now microblaze IP will be added. Automatically Vivado gives you an option to run the block automation. So you can just click the block automation and you need to configure the microblaze processor here. In this demonstration, I will be running a very small program which will be just printing a hello world on the serial console. So I will be running the program from the local memory of the microblaze and I will not be using any external RAM uh, out of the FPG. So you need to uh, increase the local memory space available uh, in the processor in, the, in this tab. You can uh, select the maximum value which is a 128 KB and you also need to configure the interrupt controller since we need interrupt, the interrupt controller needs to be enabled. Uh, these are the only things which you need to configure manually. And then just you can press OK. Vivado automatically adds a number of uh, blocks which are required for the functioning of the microblaze. Now you also have an option for doing the connection automation wherein uh, Vivado will automatically connect most of the unconnected lines to the proper lines. So you can just click on the uh, run connection automation and select uh, all the signals and just click OK. Now the connection automation is completed. As you can see, most of the lines are now connected. Uh, in this demonstration, since we are uh, planning to print a message on the serial console, you also need to uh, manually add a uh, UART IP. So just press this plus button and just search for UART. So you can see the AXI UART IP available here. Just double click on that. The UART IP will be added and Vivado again offers connection automation. So just run that so that it routes the AXI and the external UART signals to the proper ports. Now the connection automation is also completed. Uh, if you observe closely, the only unconnected line is the interrupt line, which you need to connect manually. So you can see the uh, interrupt 
concatenation unit which is connected to the interrupt controller over here so you need to manually connect the interrupt of this UART which you have added as you can see this is the interrupt line this needs to be connected to the uh, interrupt controller so I'm manually connecting this interrupt line of this UART to the first input of this interrupt concatenation unit and uh, for this design I don't need any other IP so I can actually reconfigure this interrupt controller just double click on this uh, interrupt controller and select the number of inputs as one because I'll, I'm using only the UART and the other uh, interrupt input cannot be left open so you need to reconfigure it and reduce it to one and just click OK so now as you can see there is only one input to the uh, interrupt concatenation unit and that has been connected to the interrupt line of the AXI uh, UART so now we have added all the hardware IPs which are required for this demonstration you can just validate the design by clicking this button so the validation is successful so you can just save the block design then go to this sources tab now you need to create a hardware wrapper for this uh, design which you have created for that go to this sources tab click on this design icon and right click and click on this create STL wrapper you can ask the Vivado to automatically manage the STL wrapper and click OK now as you can see here the STL wrapper has been created now the next process is to compile this design you have to go through the phases of synthesis implementation and generate bitstream so if you directly click on the generate bitstream button it will automatically do synthesis and implementation as well so let's go and uh, generate the bitstream for downloading it into the FPG so click on the generate bitstream button and just click OK now it starts generating the uh, bitstream by compiling and doing the implementation this is going to take uh, some time so I'll come back after once the bitstream uh, generation is completed now as you can see here the bitstream generation is completed so the next step is to export this design to the uh, Virtus so for that you need to go to the file menu export and then click on the export hardware so here you have two options fixed and expandable expandable is used for acceleration applications so for this application we'll be using the fixed type just click next and click on the include bitstream option and you need to give a path where you want to export it so just give a path and click next and then you can click finish Now the design has been exported to Vitis. So your work in Vivado is completed. Now you need to uh, start Vitis and for developing the further software application. So uh, you go you need to go to this tools window menu and click on this launch launch Vitis ID. Now Vitis is being launched. You need to select the workspace for for Vitis. So you can select the workspace which was just created uh, for exporting the hardware and click OK. This is the starting window of Vitus. For developing an application in Vitus, first you need, need to create a platform. So first we'll uh, go ahead with the creation of this platform. Click on this create platform project option. You need to give a name for your project
then click next now we are going to create the uh, platform from the uh, hardware which was exported from uh, Vivado so that is uh, the based on the XSA file which has been exported so click on this uh, create from hardware specification which is XSA and click next and now you have to browse and give the uh, XSA file which was exported so you need to point to the directory which was where we have exported the hardware from Vivado So this was the file which was exported. So for this demonstration, we are going to use uh, standalone mode, which means we are not going to use any operating system. Otherwise, you have the option of using FreeRTOS or Linux. So we'll continue with standalone for this option and click finish. So now the platform has been created. Uh, for creating an application program in Vitus, you also need to create a domain uh, within the platform. Uh, by default, when Vitus creates a platform, automatically it creates a, a, a domain for us. So that is what is shown here, the standalone on Microblaze. If you want to create additional domains, you can just click on this plus button and you can create additional domains. So now we will continue with uh, this domain which has been created by Vitus. Now we need to build this uh, platform which has been generated just right click on the platform and click on the build project so now this platform is being generated now the platform and domain are ready we need to go ahead and create the application project for that click on the file menu new click on the application project just click next you need to select the domain which uh, platform uh, which you want to use so this is the platform which we have already created just uh, select that and the domain has already been selected here so just click next you need to give a name for your application project and click next and uh, select the domain which you want to use in this case we have only one domain we will use that so click next and here you can select a template for your application which you are going to create so we will go ahead and create a hello world application in this demo so just click on the hello world and click finish so as you can see on this left side the application has been created uh, you can see the source file here this is the main file if you open that you can see the hello world message which we are expecting to see on the uh, serial console so we will build the application by just uh, just right click on this application and give build project now your project has been built and the executable is ready for execution now I have switched on my evaluation board and I'm going to see the uh, output on the serial console for observing the outputs on the serial console you need to run a serial terminal I'm using Terraterm select the serial port and click OK the default baud rate is 9600 and that is uh, what is used by Microblaze as well so now our system is ready uh, now first we need to download the bitstream file which will be configuring the FPGA fabric and create the microblaze processor and then we will download the application software which will be running on this microblaze processor so for configuring the FPGA just go to the xilinx menu program FPGA the bit file which we have exported from the uh, Vivado will automatically come here since we have selected this as a workspace so just click on the program button Now it's configuring the FPG with the bitstream which we have selected. Now the FPG has been configured. Now we can go ahead and run the application program on the Microblaze processor which is present in the FPG now. So for that go to the application uh, program, right click on the application and go to this run as select the launch on hardware
now you can observe the serial terminal for the output of the program the program is being downloaded now so as you can see the message from the program has come so this is how you run the simple hello world program on the microblaze processor using the Vitus IDE. That's the end of the demo.